Wow, folks, a lot to cover today in fishing. We got iCast out there in Florida going on the biggest convention of the year. And we're going to cover a lot of new baits showcased as well as a creator showcase to start things off. So stick around if you want to see some of the latest, most innovative, and frankly, some goofy and questionable new products. We're going to cover a little bit of all that. But uh, right, uh, quick, let's just jump right in to the Google Trends uh, in fishing. I, I pulled this up yesterday, and I was uh, seeing what's going on in the world of fishing. And it looks like... There's some new video game that everyone's just going wild over. Bassmaster Fishing 2022. I checked this out. Look at this. I guess if you got an Xbox, PS4, PS5, this is the new trend in fishing. Bass Angler Sportsman Society. The topic is trending. Fishing food, which is inside of that video game, it looks like, is up 100% in search volume. Fishing Planet, which has to do with online gaming, is up. Kind of interesting. And then we got uh, a couple channels, too. Fishing with Norm. The channel's popping off 170 percent increase in search volume on fishing with norm so we're going to cover his channel in just a second same thing with uh, ao fishing he's on the list down there to the right you got ao at 350 percent up this man is on a roll we're going to talk about it so let's go ahead and next out of that guy right there fishing with norm what's he doing on youtube these days the man is approaching 600 thousand subscribers y'all he's at 557 look check me out i'm trying to hit 50k subscribers right i've been at this thing for a while and i remember me and norm first talking when he was at 50k subs he had that viral hook in the neck video go crazy and he has rode the momentum and just gone wild he's investing back into the channel he's got his filmer his editor zade i mean they're crushing it right now ladies and gents and let me show you why so they're putting out some really creative stuff so we got him spending 24 hours at the bass pro pyramid uh, almost 400,000 views in less than a week. I mean, this is out there with Yak Pack. Entertaining video, an hour long, guys. You can bet the watch time is favoring him, and he's probably getting a lot of videos pushed out. YouTube is digging it. Check this out. 350K views on this uh, 1v1v1 video. Two, a quarter million views 13 days ago on the Claw Machine Challenge. We were a part of that as well. He was out here in Texas. Caught the River Monster. 152,000 views. This is nuts, folks. Let me just go ahead and check out his stats on Social Blade. This is all public stuff. Y'all can check this out. This month, and this might be a day or two old now, 8.89 million views in the last 30 days. Oh my gosh, in the last 30 days. I can't get a million views in a year to save my life. And this man's getting... 10 million views potentially in a 30-day period coming up here very soon. This is absolutely ridiculous. If y'all don't understand this, I mean, this is what you dream of as a YouTube creator. I think I've got 90,000 views a month at the moment. Uh, so <laughs> so if y'all are enjoying this type of content right here, we're switching things up. Let me know if you appreciate some of these insights right here. But hey, Norm, doing it big. Uh, estimated monthly earnings are at 2.2k to 35,000. But the problem is if you click this right here, this is for a default CPM range of up to $4. No one in fishing is making that little per thousand views. So CPM is how much you earn per thousand views. And this is only estimating up to $4 for every uh, 1000 views. I personally, I think mine's like 12 or 13 right now. Things have been pretty good, but let's just say it was low for him and like seven bucks per thousand views. You're talking about seven grand for every million views. I mean, he's on a roll, and uh, kudos to him, man. Hats off. A lot of other YouTubers I watch, they talk about their earnings uh, that they make from their YouTube channels, and it really helped inspire me want to even start the channel uh, when it came to like motorcycle vlogs back in the day. And uh, you know, of course, whenever we found fishing, we just wanted to make the videos because we wanted to kind of document everything, and then it turned into uh, where we're doing it full time. But he is on a whole nother level. Same thing with AO. Let me pull his up right quick. Check this out. 318,000 subscribers. And by the way, Norm is approaching uh, 600,000 now, if I didn't mention it. So AO on a roll as well. Uh, 1 million views in his last four videos within the last three weeks. I mean, just crushing it. He bought this, he imported $7,000 inflatable houseboat. Houseboat's been crushing it for him on his channel. He's going wild with it. That in the marketplace on Facebook, I mean, come on. I remember when we bought the John boat on the Facebook marketplace and I included that in my title. I didn't get uh, some crazy views like this. He just really got a, a good story on Itty Bitty when he first picked that boat up. That one video just popped off. Everyone's been subscribing and loving the, the storyline. Uh, we had we hit a standstill. See, here's his newest houseboat update. 300,000 views, folks. This is ridiculous. And so you can understand why they are trending over here on Google Trends. They're just two of the best creators in fishing right now at the moment. Uh, they're, they're going ham. Uh, compare that to somebody like Flair, who's been in the game for a long time. 
right? Uh, two and a half million subscribers versus, uh, you know, those guys combined have somewhere around a million, a little less. And whew, you want to talk about views. Flair has got 651 million total views. I mean, this is insane. You look at Fishing with Norm and he's crushing it with 86 million views, but holy smokes, Flair's got 651 million views. And we're almost to iCast and talking about these new products, folks, but we just got to cover this. I mean, that's absolutely insane. Uh, but Flair at the moment, him and uh, Norm are kind of tied for views in the last 30 days, so something to look out for as uh, who's competing for these top spots in that outdoor fishing content. And, uh, you know, Flair's doing a lot of his farm stuff. He's got all the zoo animals. He's having a good time. But uh, So that kind of covers some creators real quick, and we got a few more things to showcase before we jump into the new 2022 iCast products preview. we got a lot for you right here. It starts off with just a little teaser, but real quick, let me jump into uh, Also, I saw this. Ryan, Fisher Yin. Uh, he just fished on the world's largest paddleboard. Check this thing out. I think he said it was like 16 feet. He's been making some really entertaining videos lately, and uh, so I just saw this. I figured I'd, I figured I'd point it out to you in case you find this of interest. I'm going to put all these guys' channels, Instagrams, whatever I can find down in the description. Uh, but check out Fisher Yen. He's out here doing it big. Three guys on the paddleboard <laughs> might be a video that uh, <laughs> you want to take a look at. This is funny. This is my total channel views, man. This is this is dating all the way back to uh, well, we started the channel way back here. Let's call it 2010. I think we were posting like iPhone drum cover videos from our iPhone 3GS. If that tells you anything about our time on YouTube, we really have not done much, have we? We started posting moto vlogs around here, if you can see that mouse. And then, of course, we got into the fishing somewhere in 2017. And then, boop, 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 here went, uh, I believe that was probably the pandemic. And bam, you know, I was making a video a day for 115 days straight then uh, from basically St. Patrick's Day of 2020 until whenever 115 days later would be. Things were looking good. We kind of hit a plateau. And uh, I brought all this up because we've received, you know, five and a half million views over the last uh, essentially five years of fishing videos, right? Some of those are from the Moto Vlogs for sure. But, you know, to see folks like uh, <laughs> Norm 8.89 or whatever it was, million views in one month, I just wanted to bring that up as in a, a comparison right there. And so, uh, yeah, there you go. Now, on to iCast 2022, starting things off with, uh, I guess it's considered hard baits, so let's go. Berkeley Slobber Knocker. This guy's coming in at about 14 bucks and looks at kind of a twist on a chatterbait almost. Just a bladed jig is what we'll call this guy right here. Curious to see how it runs, uh, how it kind of shimmers and shakes with that blade, if it's going to kind of have that wobble or if it's just designed to kind of push water around it and, uh, yeah, catch some fish on it. Catch Coes, Mike Buka Bull Mullet. This thing, we've used it. It's really a saltwater lure. I know Ryan Rigg did a video covering this thing and even uh, caught some bass, some largemouth on this bad boy right here. Big stout hooks, uh, not much to say. I mean, multi-jointed saltwater swim bait. And then we've got some, some spinner baits announced. So this is the Freedom Tackle Speed Freak spinner bait coming at you, $7.99. We got some cranks. Uh, let's keep on scrolling. We got the Guggen Squad. This is, I believe, their new, uh, what is the circular? The Colorado bladed spinner bait coming at you. We got this guy right here, the Nichols Lures Catalyst spinner bait coming out. This one uh, doesn't have a price tag, but... Uh, hmm, it's gonna be it's gonna be there at iCast. Now this guy right here, check this one out, ladies and gents. Can I zoom in? Ah, it's not looking like it. Can I zoom in? Ah, there we go. Look at this. This is gonna be the highlight of fishing challenge videos on YouTube. I can promise you. <laughs> this thing, this thing is gonna do well. The bio rat coming in at twenty two bucks. I can see some uh, world's first rat fishing challenges <laughs> from some of our favorite creators. You've seen John B do some rat videos. That's going to be interesting. I bet you it catches some big fish, especially down in uh, Dallas, our, our area, fishing the uh, the river there. It's going to be very, very interesting. We got the Guggen Squad rival coming out. So glide bait, as opposed to the contender, right? That multi jointed swim bait. That thing is coming out at twenty nine ninety nine. Got a nice looking uh, jig, I guess. Throw some swim baits on here. This is from Greenfish Tackle. Here's one that we all know and love. If you watch our channel, the fishing videos, the Jackal, Gantarell, and the Junior folks. I don't know about this color scheme, which is, uh, you know, there's two coming out. I personally like the two that we've got. <laughs> the Ghost Gill is just phenomenal. This was one of the first bigger swim baits, right? I think it's like five, five and a half inches for that smaller size. I just like throwing the Junior. Gets the job done. We picked it up from Carl's Bait and Tackle. Cheap prices over there. And, uh, dude, it catches fish. I'm talking about spring and fall for sure. Summertime, you know, get out there early and you'll catch them. But uh, it's going to be a little bit trickier fishing this shallows here in the summertime with the Jackal Gantrell Jr. But just caught so many decent-sized fish for us on this guy right here. Uh, ghost gill primarily. I think there's like a spawn gill color we really like. 
I would grab this color to fish like after dark, you know, this black and red one right here. But it's coming in at $31.99, so they either up the prices or Carl, just if you're a member, you get it for cheaper because I believe it was like low to mid-20s. Uh, and of course, they might only be showcasing the price. There we go. Okay, so $34.99 for the big one, $31.99 for the smaller 5-inch. And uh, yeah, so it's saying one and a, one and a, I'm trying to look at the weight here. That's that's more of along the lines of what I thought it was was two and a half ounces. So you got to have a decent sized rod to toss that thing out on. But don't get, definitely go ahead and grab you some Jackal Ganturels. I am excited about that. Got this new jerkbait looking deal coming out from Jackal. Look at this though, the live target live crawl. It really looks like it's live, folks. And you can even down here check this out. Add a little weight there. Maybe do some bed fishing with this thing. Maybe don't. I don't know. Add a treble hook to it. Who knows what the action is going to be like, but I don't think you're missing the fish with that hook right there on the top. Check that thing out. That thing's going to be coming in at $14.99. Holy smokes, y'all. Like, is this like individually priced or is this for a pack of like three or five? That's uh, big money right there. I bet you it's the single. Scrolling down, what do we got? Shimano World Pop. So this is a topwater popper, but check this out. They're putting that film inside of there, and it's going to constantly be shaking. So even as this bait is stationary on the surface, they're going to get kind of like that dying fish uh, just movement on the surface, and they're going to see some more reflection coming from that. Now those poppers, you know, you pop and you sit still. A lot of times you get those strikes when the bait is actually sitting still, and so this is huge because it means now while the bait is sitting still and you're most likely to get those strikes, there's still some of that secondary action with the flutter of the light going on and so i definitely going to take a look at these things probably get a couple of these to fish what else have we got by the way that one's coming in at almost 20 bucks very proud of the baits right there and then we got a crankbaits uh spro coming out with this new spinner bait this is 10.99 looks like a buy in my opinion i'm kind of curious to see what this guy right here does i think it's claiming that th th these things right here aren't going to come down and get caught around your line as you cast I kind of think if your line's going to get tangled, it's going to get tangled on the cast. I might be wrong with that, too. It just kind of mentioned a little something over here with that arch in the body. And, uh, yeah, so I'm curious to see how this thing swims, right? Ten ninety nine, right there. We got the uh, Thumper Spinner Bait, which has got that same curve there, you'll notice, uh, towards the front, right? Towards the line tie. It kind of, I don't know. I mean, yeah, pretty sick. You got to do something different than what's out there on the market. So there you have it. A couple more crank baits uh so these looks like you you customize them with whatever hooks you want coming in at 11.99 uh, appearing to have no hooks with them so boom we got a new 110 version of the original designed wait the original design mix stick i guess uh designed to die from 9 to 12 feet this is that jerk bait right here on the top we've got a new pencil popper coming out i like the look of this thing right here probably going to grab one of these i've got another yozuri walking top water that one knocker that we really enjoy and have caught some big fish on What's next, folks? The 3DRX Shad. So it says, uh, set apart by patented 3D internal prism. I like that. Cool. This is a compact 2 and 3 8 inch quarter ounce suspending shad bait. So is it a crank or is it kind of like a... It's got to be more of a crank, but it just suspends at 5 feet. But I would imagine they would call it a 5 foot diver. So do you work this thing as a jerk bait then and it suspends at 5 feet? Because... Now I'm a little confused. Comes in eight color patterns and you pick it up for $7.99. Sounds like a deal to me. Yozuri coming in with another crank. Just kind of looks like some standard goodies. Uh, this one's big old picture. This is the vibe, I guess. Eight bucks for this guy right here. This sinking lipless. I believe all lipless sink, but maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, patented 3D, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't fish a bright green pattern like this, but apparently it gives you balance between... This lipless crank and its swimming action on the fall allows it to be burned on the retrieve without kicking out. I don't know, folks. It sounds like any other lipless, but there you have it. $7.99 from Missouri. And then we got the Hardcore Bullet Crank coming at you. This kind of looks like the Carl Shiver Crank I fish a lot. It's got this little divot right there, uh, something different uh, in the design. Otherwise, it looks pretty standard. $16. Bucks. Now this. This one we got to talk about, folks, the Hellraiser. This <laughs> this one makes no sense. I saw an on-the-water uh, review <laughs> from the guys out there at the uh, Z-Man booth. And <laughs> they're talking about, you know, coming out with something completely original in the top water space. And let me tell you what, I don't think this has been done. It looks like five baits put together in one. And they just, uh, yeah, they, they put together some sort of a topwater walking bait mixed with a bladed jig, mixed, mixed with the feather from a popper. Add some treble hooks and put you a line tie on there and just call it a day, folks. Fourteen ninety nine. This is definitely going to be uh, featured in some thumbnails on some YouTuber challenge videos. I can promise you that. 
the guy fishing it was like honestly laughing as he was presenting it. It was kind of funny. The Z-Man booth guy, he was kind of saying like, uh, he was laughing as he's talking about all the action this thing provides. He's like, well, it's definitely original. Something people haven't done before. Uh, it's going to catch fish. It, uh, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. It's kind of like a whopper plopper and a buzz bait. And I remember the first time fishing those and this fish is pretty similarly. It looks, uh, it looks that way at least. It kind of just stays on the surface, probably more like a whopper plopper instead of sinking like a buzz bait. But I think the sound and action on the surface is going to be pretty similar. And uh, let me tell you what, when I first fished those baits, I didn't think there was any way that they were going to catch fish. I don't know if y'all thought the same whenever y'all fished them, but hey, uh, whopper ploppers and buzz baits, they're going to catch you some giants. I think this one's probably going to do the same. It is just very intriguing, the uh, design. We'll just say that. So anyways, that is the Hellraiser. They're talking about raising hell in the industry for sure. The team of engineers behind that one. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> who's gonna, who's gonna grab this thing? Y'all gotta let me know. The Hellraiser. Who plans on picking that thing up? <laughs> what do you got? Uh, looks like a swim jig, uh, finesse swim jig. Okay, great, small hook. Um, yeah, finesse swim jig. This one looks pretty interesting. The thirteen fishing power slide. I can't say I've fished a bait exactly like this. They call it a slider, I think. I mean, I've fished a lot of topwater walking pencil style baits, but this will be interesting. Probably grab one of these things for $13.99, throw it in a video, uh, demonstrate it once it's out, and show you all the results. And that brings us to soft baits, folks. We are just ripping through this stuff. So we got power bait coming out with some swim bait. What do they call these? The power stingers. And so about 10 bucks for a pack available in 3.5 inch and 4.25 inch fantastic sizes across the board for your trailer needs or if you just want to toss it on a weighted hook maybe it's got some kick in action it shows here how to use there we go so they want you to toss these things on your chatter baits and bladed jigs uh that's uh, gonna be probably pretty good right there we'll definitely have to grab some of those quantum craw this is kind of a stick style craw here uh very good very good drop shot baits we got the uh big bite baits somali 36 coming in at 6.99 for a 10 pack then we got the Big Bite Baits Kamikaze. I'm just going to call it Swim On Split Tail. Um, so, yeah, you got a lot of new baits coming out, folks. We got frogs in the mix with extra long legs. I always cut the legs down, folks. It's going to help you start your walk just a little bit easier. So I trim them down. And, uh, yeah, it helps you get the, the walk initiated. Once you get the thing started, it's usually pretty easy to keep it going. But those longer legs kind of create a little extra drag. So I'm always trimming the frog legs. And so that's something to look out on a frog with legs as long as this guy right here. But uh, the Poppin' Pad Crasher Junior, so I mean the Pad Crasher has been going berserk and flying off the shelves for years and years and years. Now you got the Junior to just get more more bites, more strikes. So there you go, coming in at seven twenty nine. Uh, we got the Biospawn Lures Vile Minnow. I believe we've thrown these in a video of our own. We've done, uh, you know, you could drop shot this. You could just throw this on a hook, fish it kind of like a soft plastic jerk bait that it is. Uh, you could do a few different things with this. Coming in at five ninety nine for a pack. And then you've got the Exo. Ned, I haven't had too much luck with this, even though we've got some, just because a lot of the places I've been fishing lately, the grass is so thick, can hardly work the daggum things, but 569 for the Exo Neds coming out, I do like the style, I think they're that more Laztec style, uh, or they call it Stretch X Plastic, and it does float up, so those little pinchers there on the end are going to get some good uh, action as it's just kind of hanging out down there at the bottom. The Vile Tube, would love to get out to a smallmouth fishery and cast these things around, I do have some but I have not gotten a whole lot of uh, time behind the wheel with these bad boys right there. Then we're coming up on the flipping Biffle Bug. So this is a six twenty nine for a pack flipping bait coming out. Uh, very interesting, very interesting. That's all I got to say. <laughs> we got uh, the Jackal Rhythm Wag. This is coming out at five ninety nine for a three pack. We've got the Live Target Ultimate Frog. Looks like some extra extra beefy kick. And then I can't tell if this is the hook right here. Right? Like if it's like kind of hooked just straight up. Uh, when motionless, this frog rests silently on the surface. Long description here. We're not going to read all that. $17.99. Holy smokes. It better catch fish. Okay, that might be one to grab as well and do a little review on. Let me know if you'd like to see that once it hits the shelves. Missile baits, magic worm. Kind of looks like any other worm, but that's just kind of how worms look. We got the chunky D coming in. Uh, missile baits, three and a half inch body. Little jig trailer, what have you. We got the snag proof. Smash Mouth Popper. So this is a frog, and I don't know how you can call it snag proof because anything with a popping, uh, you know, nose like that, 
is not snag proof. So I'm a little confused, but you know, your walking frogs are going to work through cover a little bit better with that pointed snout, but then you get the popping frogs and it's just not snagless. But um, regardless, they use that. You could probably get some extra sales calling it snag proof. That one's coming in at 1099. We got some more worms. Uh, this guy's looking like, what, what are they telling us to do with this guy? Supreme quality Japanese soft plastic infused with amino bite scent. Worms are durable enough to fish all day and provide a strike appealing scent. Said that twice. Got it. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So there you go. Some more worms. We got the Scound Bug, the Strike King Rage Scound Bug. Uh, it looks pretty good. I'd throw that on the hook and cast it out. Uh, swim bait. I don't see any eyes on this bad boy, but that's what happens to most of your eyes on your soft plastic swim baits over time anyways. They still catch fish. Five ninety nine for this one right here. Uh, tested for over a year by Bassmaster Elite Series Pro Jason Christie. The new bait is available in sizes three to four and a half inch. Wow, so small. Small. Okay, interesting. I mean, I'd fish the four and a half inch. I would probably not get the three inch because um, it doesn't look like a trailer type of swim bait. This looks like the main the main course. I'd want to throw that on a big beefy hook. I was thinking that was going to be six, eight inches right there uh, on up. But anyways, you got that coming out from Yum. Then we got some uh, Z-Man goat toads. So soft, uh, soft belly. What do you call these? Soft plastic? No, because that's technically what the other rodents are. Anyways, you got some some new soft frogs coming out. <laughs> uh, I kind of like what they've done with the legs there, just giving it a little different look than what I've seen on the market. I'm sure y'all have seen something that this compares to, and you're going to say it's copying it, but hey, that's that. Three pack is $4.99. Now, I like this bait right here from 13 Fishing, the trout. Uh, trout pattern has actually caught my current PB. It was on a glide bait, uh, hard plastic, but you know, the trout pattern, the bass do love them. Some trout exposed hook, you're going to miss less fish. And uh, I think this one's a buy right here. $34.99. Okay, you know what? Maybe consider some other soft plastic trout baits in the space, but it uh, wouldn't hurt to throw this in the arsenal. And then you've also got that little slot on the top there. This could be maybe to add your little secondary hook. It could be to add some weight to it. I don't know why it would be up there, though. I'm thinking that's just going to be your secondary hook. Uh, you may do something with like a treble hook, uh, etc. So you got that little extra attachment up on the top. We got the Shimmer Swimmer. We've thrown these out a little bit. We've kind of drop shotted them. And uh, so those are coming out from Shop Carl's and 10,000 Fish. We got the Shimmer Shad. Definitely have used this guy right here. Uh, it's got that foil insert right there, so you get a little bit of that flash along with just whatever natural color you're throwing. That one's coming in at 529. People are throwing these on the drop shots and uh, catching some numbers with them. Now we're getting into rods, reels, and line, but before we do, we got a little eye cast. We got some new products showcased at the Smith Residence as well, y'all. We got some metaniums in the house. Check this out. Devin and I just scooped these up. It was from Asian Portal Fishing. They're pretty much, or they were, I should say. I, I shouted this out on my story. It got so many clicks. I think it got six to 700 clicks of y'all going out and buying these metaniums because the yen is down against the dollar right now. And let me tell you what, it's almost $200 cheaper to buy a metanium right now, the 2020, the newest metanium overseas and get it shipped to you from Asian Portal than it is to buy one here off of somewhere like uh, Tackle Warehouse, wherever's got them in stock, right? Whoever's uh, got the metaniums over here, you're getting a much cheaper. I'll try and link that down below. The uh, uh, the gear ratios that everyone loves to throw, those HGs and XGs, those ones are selling out faster. Left-handed, there's less of those in stock as well. But uh, yeah, you can grab yourself a metanium on the cheap. I'm going to put that down in the description along with everybody's uh, channels that we covered earlier. And uh, that might just wrap up this first episode of almost more new style content. We're going to cover every day of iCast here with you folks. So that was just the baits, but check us out. We got rods and reels and line to cover, but this thing's already 23 minutes long, so I'm not going to bore you anymore. I will include the link to this if you want to check it out ahead of time, right? Ahead of the video I drop tomorrow before we give our opinions, but we do have the new Guggen Squad. Uh, rod, rods and uh, I think reels to showcase here. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. We're gonna cover this one in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you're not, and if you appreciate a video like this, keeping y'all up to date on what's going on in the fishing world, go ahead and drop a like. These are only gonna get better and better as we start this format and really incorporate them here and there, sprinkle them in with the bass fishing content. So drop those likes if you would last minute, and we'll catch y'all on the next episodes over here on the channel. Uh, yeah, have a great day, y'all. Tight lines. We'll see you on the next one. We might call this thing the fishing report in the future. Drop some names, what we should call this little segment if we continue doing these. And uh, until next time, y'all, peace out.